Many of us spend a lot of time in front of the computer or with our heads down as we text or scroll through social media for hours a day. That's just a result of living in a technology obsessed world. The thing is, all of that neck bending and tilting our heads down to look at screens wreaks total havoc on our necks. Of course, neck issues resulting from exercise and training can also contribute to stiffness in that area too. We get it. Sometimes you just wanna get rid of that tension and get some relief. To do that, lots of us crack our necks, much like we crack our knuckles, backs, and toes. But sports doctors say that cracking your neck isn't the best idea and can sometimes do more harm than good. Let's go over the basic anatomy of the spine. According to the American Association of Neurological Surgeons, the cervical part of your spine is what makes up the neck. Per the Cleveland Clinic, your spine consists of 33 vertebrae, which are divided into five regions. From the top to the bottom of your spine, the regions are as follows. Cervical, your neck, thoracic, the upper and middle back, lumbar, your lower back, the sacrum, which connects the spine to your hip bones, and the coccyx, which is the tailbone. Each vertebra, the singular form of vertebrae, is assigned a letter and a number. For example, the seven bones in the cervical region are labeled C1 through C7. The letter C stands for cervical, then the thoracic vertebrae are assigned the letter T, followed by a number, and so on for each region. Between each vertebra is a disc. These discs have a jelly-like center and a soft outer part. They are basically small cushions that sit between the bones. So whenever you're running, jumping, or moving in some way, these discs act as shock absorbers that help mitigate any stresses that movement places on the body. The facet joints connect the vertebrae to one another. These joints allow your spine to twist and turn, balancing flexibility and stability. So here's what is actually happening on a physiological level when you give your neck a good twist. When you crack your neck, you're popping little gas bubbles that formed from the synovial fluid. This fluid keeps the joints lubricated. The reason you feel relief is because you're releasing pressure between the joints. The popping noise you hear when you crack your neck could also be due to the sound that ligaments and tendons make when they rub up against each other. However, despite how good this relief may feel, a primary reason not to crack your neck is that it can reduce neck stability over time, making the region more prone to injury. So, instead of cracking your neck, it's best to just do some simple stretches.